Today I'll be travelling on Britain's best sleeper train, the GWR Night Riviera. I'll be in a cabin checking out the first class lounges, the amazing views, going all the way from Paddington to Penzance across the entire Great Western Main Line. It's definitely a journey you don't want to miss, so buckle in and let's get started. Welcome to Paddington Station. This engineering masterpiece designed by Isambard Brunel opened in 1838 and quickly became one of the most famous railway stations in the world. The sleeper train always comes in on platform 1 right by the first class lounge, but high speed trains depart all the time on platform 1, so the sleeper train will only turn up at 10pm and you can only board at 10.30 and the sleeper train will leave at 11.45. One thing to note is that only people with GWR first class tickets on the daytime express trains or cabins on the Night Riviera sleeper are allowed into the first class lounge. The lounge includes a departure board, a seating area, free Wi Fi drinks machine, some drinks, and some fruit and biscuits. As well as some plug sockets and a good view of the outside platforms minus the glare on the windows. There is also a second part of the first class lounge which used to be Queen Victoria's royal waiting room. Anyway, we've waited around enough, let's get onto the train now. Today I'm booked into Coach F beds 5 and 6 near the back of the train. Full room tour coming soon, but first let's check out the buffet car. There's some seats and sofas, but whoever designed those stalls is crazy. There's a counter with some snacks and a member of staff almost always present. We depart Paddington on time at 15 to midnight. Our next stop is Reading at 30 minutes past midnight, where we will witness the locomotive at the back of the train, which pulled this train into Paddington depart. Obviously no one is allowed off at Reading because you could just take the intercity express trains that GWR operates in the daytime. But first, let's check out economy. The seat spacing is okay, you, the padding on the seats is pretty bad. They come with a stiff, thin armrest and a curtain. But the one thing that nails this in the coffin is the fact that the seat is bolt upright. That is insane. As we are now approaching Reading, let's see the locomotive that pulled this train into Paddington depart. We wake up rolling through the hills of Cornwall, one and a half hours away from Penzance. Now it's time for a full room tour. There are two beds in a bunk bed layout. If you book multiple rooms, they will align you up so you can get a connecting door. To the right of that, there's a slim wardrobe with two coat hangers and, weirdly, two water bottles inside. To 
to the right there's a table with a key card to access your room. Make sure not to lose it, but if you do then they'll replace it. There's also a little compartment to put away your litter. And this table opens up into a sink with a hot and cold water tap as well as a plug. On each bed there are some light switches, two USB sockets and a three pin socket and a room service button. There is also a retractable ladder to access the top bunk. However, if you've only booked one bed, then there will be no top bunk and the ladder will be locked away. When you arrive on the train, a member of staff will show you around your room and ask you what food you want and when you want it delivered. You can pick from 6.40 to 7.20. With just five minutes left, St Michael's Mount is a sure sign we are approaching Penzance. Penzance, a town with a population of around 15,000, sees regular service from Great Western Railway and sees a little bit of service from cross country as well. We arrive one minute late at 7.55. It has a first class lounge that GWR first class passengers and Night Riviera cabin passengers can access. 